Elon Musk has announced on X that Neuralink has implanted its first device in their first human clinical trial called the Prime Study. Nope, not that Prime. The first Neuralink product is called Telepathy and enables control of your phone or computer or any device just by thinking. In the Prime Study brochure, they state that they are looking for individuals with quadriplegia, limited function in all four limbs, due to spinal cord injury or amyotropic lateral sclerosis, and are at least one year post-injury without improvement. There's specific reasons they're targeting this initial group first. Usually when we want to move an arm, there's a particular neural signature that originates in the motor cortex. That signal travels down neural circuits till it reaches our muscles and triggers that action. During spinal cord injury, there is severe damage to that pathway and it disrupts the signal transferring between the motor cortex and the muscle. Although the key here is that the neural signature is actually still occurring within the motor cortex. It just can't communicate that signal to the muscles due to the damage caused by the disease. The goal of the Neuralink implant is to eavesdrop on that motor signal and then send the commands via Bluetooth to an app which controls your phone, computer, or any device. This is fundamentally what telepathy is. Neural implants and neuronal recordings in general have existed for a very long time, but there's been a number of key discoveries, mostly in the last two decades, which have really set the scene for what Neuralink are doing right now. For example, in 2002, the first real-time control of a mouse cursor was demonstrated in monkeys. In 2008, a monkey controlling a robotic arm in three dimensions fed itself for the first time. While in 2012, the first brain-controlled arm by a human happened. In 2017, a human controlled a cursor to type out words and sentences. All of these experiments were groundbreaking and were performed with 200 to 300 wired electrodes. The real breakthroughs with Neuralink is the engineering feat in the density of the electrodes, over 2,000, which record a highly accurate signal from a very specific cluster of neurons and then to be able to send that signal completely wirelessly via Bluetooth to a device. We initially saw this back in 2021 with Gertrude the pig and her snout boops. This was the first time the device could be shown to be recording highly specific clusters of neurons. Then in 2022, we saw how the system can be calibrated with patterns of motor activity, with this adorable macaque playing Pong completely with its mind. In this experiment, the Neuralink was trained using data from the joystick but then was unplugged once it could correlate the neural data to the motor actions. The training with patients obviously cannot occur in this same way, and the chip will be reading the neural recordings directly from the motor cortex itself, interpreting those signals and then executing the command via Bluetooth. When Musk says that the initial results show promising neuron spike detection, that's what he's referring to. The brain is incredibly noisy, and for this whole thing to work, the chip has to be able to reliably detect just a tiny cluster of neuronal signatures within the motor cortex that are attempting to execute that motion and not transmit any of the surrounding noise from the other neurons. So what's next? Paralysis is an incredible starting point due to the added independence and control you can give these patients. As Musk tweeted, imagine if Stephen Hawking could communicate faster than a speed typist or auctioneer. This is really the goal. Well, that's incredible, this really is only the start. As per the Neuralink website, in the future we hope to restore the capabilities such as vision, motor function and speech and eventually expand how we experience the world. Since on a fundamental level the language of the brain is patterns of electricity, this means all disease states from schizophrenia to bipolarism and even depression are characterized by a fundamental error in electricity. And hypothetically, this means all disease can be cured by a device like Neuralink. Now, we are very far off from this point, but I think it is incredibly exciting. I wish all the incredibly brave patients who were the first to sign up for this prime study the very best of luck as they advance the frontiers of neuroscience. I'll be sure to update you on the progress with any more news. Subscribe for more neuroscience content. Thank you so much.